Good afternoon, everyone. So, I was thinking about not streaming today, <clears throat> but then I figured, what else am I going to do today? Chicago is relatively quiet, with the exception of, well, there was a drunk driver over there, but that's been completed. I'll go ahead and refresh the system here. <coughs> <coughs> Everybody has shipped back to Palatine. The Adam Street Temporary Support Station is now closed. We will definitely be reopening it. Um, we just won't be reopening it this week. We'll be reopening it, I think, um, like, the week of October 7th, we'll be reopening it. But for now, we're going to try to see how well we deal with running a triple zone shutup. So, there's nothing really going on in Chicago. Let's see, uh, what's going on in NYC if they need any assignments and as you can see even though there isn't a gigantic death cloud there are always things going on in New York they definitely need ambos We're kind of at the point where they need ambos more than they need police vehicles. Alright, so there's been some problems at the New York, it looks like their Amtrak facility. They got a fire and a crane collapse. 4740 21st Street, NYPD, Wall Street Cruiser 1, this one's all yours. Forty-four seventy-eight Twenty-third Street, Office Building Fire, NYPD Cruiser Two. This one's all yours. So a crane collapsed onto the Art Street shop where they repair locomotives. A locomotive caught fire as a result. I don't think they need any security for that, though. <coughs> An Amtrak train derailed near Honeywell Street. NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 3. You are going to Honeywell Street vicinity. We gotta get our guys over here in NY assigned. And they really do need ambos. They've they've got an ambo shortage. They also need some serious uh, fire trucks. 14th Street Subway Station, NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 4 at 6th Avenue. It's all yours. Yeah, they need 
fire trucks up the ass. Over by the Palladium Hall, a crane has collapsed. It is uh, smashed down onto the street. Some of the metal debris has affected windows at the Palladium Hall. They already have a full stack of security there, so we don't need to worry about that. 70 East 10th Street. Somebody was uh, running a drug lab in their condominium. Fire alarm system was triggered. They need ambos so badly over there. <coughs> Wall Street Cruiser 5. This one's all yours at 70 East 10th Street. security for that. Park Place Subway Station NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 6 you're responding providing security for the other service workers Alright, so we got our cruisers in New York all assigned. So now let's go ahead and open up. We are actually going to be opening up all of the phone lines. That is Chicago and Palatine lines. The only zone we are not opening up is New York because they are on manual assignment. First, we need to get our fire departments hiring. Some of the hiring campaigns have ended. Fire Department 2 South and 1 North at Palatine are now hiring again. NYPD Wall Street is going to need to hire. We need to work on getting more people into each car. <coughs> Chicago Ambulance at Northwestern Medicine needs to hire. Again, we need to try to get more personnel per AMBO. workers available so we have all of our ambulances are mostly short staffed with the exception of rig 8 rig 2 and 1 have one person driving and one person in back rig 3 is basically a glorified uber with just the guy driving up front How do you like to get thrown in an ambulance and then driver get up front and you're back there alone? Yeah, that'd be kind of creepy, I think. Chicago Fire Department Engine Company 1 is hiring. Chicago Fire Department Engine Company 42 is now hiring.
Chicago ALS Rig 1 and 2, Northwestern Medicine. You are responding to 4615 West Schubert Avenue. Sonia Vicentes, 61 year old female, possible burns. Kylie Johansson, 40 year old female. So what happened here was uh, <clears throat> it's a family business. They were running a catering operation out of their kitchen at their house. And their kitchen went up in fire. You're welcome. So now, we open some phone lines, not NYPD Wall Street. Every phone line except for NYPD Wall Street is now opened. As you can see, it's quite the pile of phone lines opened up. We'll go ahead and cancel the current hiring event and start a new one at Loop Station Ambulance. We'll do the same at Palatine Ambulance North and South. And Palatine Police Station Central. CPD 18th District as well. That way all of our hiring events are synchronized. Country Club Court Condominiums <coughs> The church's bus broke down And that's actually single family homes over there Not condos We will send over Engine 1 and Heavy Rescue Vehicle 2, PFD North. Palatine PD Unit 1 will respond in two minutes. <coughs>
notes there. No, that's the UIC forum. Possible COVID-19. Rebecca Travoyas, 36 female. Chicago ALS Rig 4 Loop Station, you're responding to 665 West Roosevelt Road, UIC Forum. Bring COVID test kit. Person has fallen at the Fifth Third Bank branch. Sam Kelly, seventy eight year old male. Fell from the stairs. Chicago ALS Rig Five Loop Station, you are responding. Engine Company 1, there is burning grass <coughs> over at the small park. I wouldn't even really call that a park. I would call that a trashy grass field on Polk Street in South Jefferson. 727 South Jefferson Street, CFD, Engine 2, Speedy, and Engine 1, Engine Company 1. You guys can go put out that grass field fire. <clears throat>
crud. Shutting down the phone lines. Gorditas El Terre. There has been a fire truck accident. Mass Cal alert. On Birdnick Street. Total of 10 people injured, 6 firefighters, 4 civilians. Matthias Zanderson. The truck overturned and slid into the restaurant wall, injuring four civilians who were dining. Sophia Zellmeyer. By the way, uh, Matthias Zanderson is a 35-year-old male. Sophia Zellmeyer is a 40-year-old female. Kylie Ricardez. 39-year-old female. Rachel Xaviera. Thirty-four-year-old female. Otto Ignacias, fifty year old male, Valentina Xander. a 41 year old female Daniela Umper 28 year old female the restaurant struck by the fire truck Isaac Zellmeyer twenty year old male little sister of Sophia Zellmeyer, the firefighter. Uh, I meant le a little brother, I mean. He was also dining at the restaurant struck by the fire truck.
Brandon Bosley, 38 year old male. Also dining at the restaurant. Victor Martez, 19 year old male, diner at the restaurant struck by the fire truck. Palatine ALS rigs 1 through 8, Walgreens North and South. You are all rolling to Birdnick Street, vicinity of Gorditas El Terre. Got eight ambulances rolling in there. <laughs> Palatine PD Unit 1 and 2, they're rolling in. <laughs> Pumper 1, PFD South, Engine 2, and Engine 4 Speedy, PFD South, are responding. Rebecca Travoyas, 36-year-old female, positive for COVID-19. She's being transported to a COVID unit. 
She'll be going to COVID-19 unit at UIC Medical Center. Person who fell down the stairs, Sam Kelly, was treated on site for minor lacerations and bruises. He will follow up with his physician at the hospital on Monday. Matthias Zanderson, driver of the fire truck that overturned. Has a crushed arm and left leg. He'll be transported to Alexian Brothers Trauma Unit. Victor Martez, diner at the restaurant, struck by the fire truck. Bilateral leg fractures. He's going to Alexian Brothers Trauma Unit. Brandon Bosley. With abdominal trauma, he's going to Northwest Community Hospital. Northwest Community Hospital has a new trauma unit and the ER has been expanded to 30 beds. Palatine ALS rig 1 and 5. When you guys are done transporting, make sure you clean those rigs out as much as you can. Get a new stretcher from the hospital stretcher swap and return back to the fire truck accident site. Kylie Ricardez. with head injury. She's going to Northwest Community Hospital in critical condition. She is intubated and ventilated. Rachel Xaviera, firefighter on the ill-fated fire truck. multiple pelvic fractures. She's being transported to Northwest Community Hospital Trauma Unit. Sophia Zellmeyer. With severe smoke inhalation. She was right near the fuel tank when it ruptured. She also has other injuries. Valentina Zander.
41 year old female severe head injury she is unconscious and ventilated Ignacias, 50 year old female, pronounced dead on the scene. With full body crushed injuries. They saw Otto's hand twitch. They're going to be rushing him to the hospital. I don't think he'll survive through the day, though. police officer yesterday then there was well they're presuming Otto's going to die today he actually they actually got a heartbeat back on him but his injuries are extremely extensive so it is doubtful that he will survive through the day but Things do happen. People do survive remarkable injuries. Daniela Umper. With smoke inhalation injuries. She's going to Northwest Community Hospital Respiratory Care. See, I try to blot it out of my mind when people die, so all I remember is yesterday the police officer and today presumptively, you know, Otto is not dead though. He is being taken to the trauma unit. They're going to probably helicopter him to Northwestern Medicine. I forget who the other two were. <coughs> I checked the list, but the list wasn't started until yeah, two days ago, so... NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 6 will have a new assignment for you momentarily. Stand by. Uh, 
tanker overturned at 59 Thompson Street. The tanker was carrying gasoline. Tanker overturned over by Para Soho 60 Soho Hotel vicinity. As a precaution, the hotel has been placed on lockdown. None of the guests may leave. All guests in the hotel have been given a free extra day. Oh, yeah. The, I think she was 17 years old. She was pushed onto the tracks, by the way. Yeah, and then the guy with the car versus tree accident. Punctured his heart with a piece of debris. We'll go ahead and open up the Chicago lines. Palatine lines need to stay shut. We'll open up the police lines. Ambulance lines are closed. The ambulances need to turn around and clean out. Especially after Otto Ignacias, he was bleeding all over the ambulance. That ambulance is a complete mess. I am still surprised how they actually got him to the hospital with a beating heart. Carolyn Fomantes, 61-year-old female with difficulty breathing. Probable asthma. She's located at 485 North Lakeshore Drive. Uh, she's in her vehicle on the southbound lane just over the Chicago River on Lakeshore Drive Bridge. Chicago ALS Rig 1, CPD, District 18, Unit 1. Need you guys to close that lane, get her out of her vehicle, and get her some treatment. Chicago Fire Department, Engine 5 Speedy, Engine Company 42, Engine 4 Speedy, Engine Company 42, 
engine 3, engine company 42. You are responding to North Lakeshore Drive. A uh, large fire has broke out on the uh, roadway after a industrial tanker truck collided with a car and overturned itself. All injured persons have already been transported off the scene. Chicago Hazmat Vehicle 1, Engine Company 42, Battalion Chief, Engine Company 42, you are responding. Two three zero South State Street, Chicago. Fire Department Engine Company One. Engine Two Speedy and Engine One. Costume Shops Back Storage Room has caught fire. If you can respond over there and extinguish the fire before they lose a ton of property, that'd be great. like the uh yeah it's a generic industrial building over there yeah it's a generic warehouse that they actually lease to multiple tenants a storage warehouse at East Helen Road has caught fire. They have a roof fire going on. The on-roof HVAC system has gone up in smoke. Engine 2, Engine 4 Speedy. Engine 5 Platform, you guys are responding. Ballantine PD Unit 1. You are going to go provide security to the area. MCV is en route. 
Our hazmat truck is already there. <coughs> I'll be right back. I need to get some drink. East Helen Road Warehouse Roof Fire. Additional supports are needed. Engine 5 Platform requesting support from Engine 1. Engine 5, your support request has been approved. Engine 1, PFD North, you are responding to East Helen Road Warehouse. Delta and have a rescue vehicle to PFD North, Engine 3 Speedy, Palatine PD Unit 3. There is debris on East Red Paved Loop at the Deer Grove Forest Preserve. The debris is excessive and is preventing foot traffic from getting through. The power line came down and struck a pair of people. It is also endangering a gas station. CFD Engine 1, Engine Company 1, all engines be on alert. Engine Company 1, Engine 2 Speedy, and Engine 6 Platform. You guys are responding along with ALS Rig 4 and 5 loop station 50 West Congress Parkway outside the BP gas station Sophia Vantagoba a 28 year old female <coughs>
Donna Alvarez, 34-year-old female. person was walking around the city. She uh, came to be ill outside the Illinois Bar Association building. Valentina Yance, a 41-year-old female. with heat stroke symptoms. Chicago ALS Rig 6, Loop Station, you're responding. 19 West Arcade Place. Roof damage reported on West 15th Street, a house, 70 West 15th Street. Chicago Fire Department Engine 6 platform, Engine 1, Engine 2 speedy. Heavy Rescue Vehicle 1, Engine Company 1, all equipment. 70 West 15th Street is the next zone of your equipment's need. You guys will need to respond over there. Repair that roof. CPD District 18, Unit 1. You're going to roll over there and provide initial assessment. She is confirmed to have full and severe dehydration along with neurological symptoms. Valentina Yance is being transported to the hospital. <coughs> She'll be transported to Northwestern Memorial. Sophia Vantacoba, 42 with severe burns to her right hand. She's going to be transported to the burn unit at Northwestern Memorial.
on Alvarez. With severe burn to her left foot. She's being transported to Northwest Memorial. Green Park, 120 South Desplaine Street. Person has twisted their ankle. Caroline Fontaine. She is a 17 year old female. Chicago ALS Rig 7, Loop Station, you're responding. NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 4, I will have a new assignment for you momentarily. Stand by. East Broadway Street Subway Station NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 4 you're going over there and providing security East Eisenhower Avenue, <clears throat> a blue F-150 pickup truck has ignited. person was working on servicing the truck in their driveway when the truck suddenly ignited. person got away from the truck without injury. Engine 2, Engine 4, Speedy, PFD South, Utah responding.
Caroline Fontaine, 17 year old female, is going to hospital for x rays. She'll be going to Northwestern Memorial. I will be right back. I have to hit the leaktation station. Intracranial hemorrhage outside the Zaki Mediterranean Grill. Valentina Verdez, 28 year old female. Chicago ALS Rig 4 Loop Station, you're responding. <coughs> 612 West Roosevelt Road.
Pride Automotive Repair. They were set to receive a supply of new tires. The truck lost its load. There are tires all over the road. Palatine PD Unit 3. Engine 3 Speedy. Engine 4 Speedy. Engine 2. If you guys can go help get that guy's load back on his truck, or actually just, you may as well just roll those tires into automotive repair shop. Sycamore Park and Walking Trail. They are planning on having a Call of Duty event in one hour. Palatine PD Unit 1, Palatine ALS Rig 1. Engine 1, PFD North, you guys can go set up stage there. Please know that you will be called out of there if a mass situation occurs. Palatine PD Unit 4, you are needed over by Pride Auto Repair. North Wanda Lane.
intracranial hemorrhage, River Point Park, 343 West Wolf Point Plaza. Abel Tremeckes, 39 year old female. Chicago ALS Rig 6 Loop Station, you're responding. <coughs> Valentina Verdez being transported to Northwestern Memorial Hospital. Park. A tree has come down and has landed on the roadway. South Clark Street, 1154 South Clark Street vicinity. Chicago Fire Department engine two and engine one speedy. Engine two speedy and engine one. You guys are responding. Abigail Tremeckes, 39 year old female. She's ready for transport. She'll be going to Northwestern Memorial Hospital.
NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 2. Stand by for new assignment. PD Wall Street Cruiser 2, you're responding to 195 Canal Street. Cam Man Food Market. suspicious person, probably homeless person, has been roaming around on East Palatine Road over by Winston Campus Junior High School. Palatine PD Unit 3, if you can go check out the situation. If it is a homeless person, you could transport them to the homeless shelter. After a ton of spending the last couple days, we're going to try to keep it green today. Which means no spending. Over near the quiet logistics warehouse. Not our call, not our problem. Wait a minute, they need two ambos and they have no ambos over there. Yeah, this is kind of our problem. Chicago ALS rig one and two. You guys are responding to North Hooker Street, Quiet Logistics. <laughs> Kevin Andrzejczyk, 32-year-old male, Kimberly Zitronizic, 40-year-old female,
RPD, Wall Street Cruiser 5. I'll have a new assignment for you in a few minutes. East Cypress Street. Unknown structural fire in a house. Engine 3 speedy, engine 5 platform, Palatine heavy rescue vehicle 2, PFD north, all units. Palatine PD unit 4, Palatine ALS rig 2 north. Engine 4 speedy, PFD south. You guys are responding. Two five five North Noble Street. Person is blocking traffic with their Toyota Camry. CPD District eighteen, Unit two. If you can go over there and tell that guy to move his car, we'll have it towed. That'd be great. Three thousand dollars for completing fifteen missions.
free runner Lucas Alvarado 17 year old male cross country runner with the high school team Tim Osmond, who is trimming trees and hedges, took the hedge hammer, trimmer to his arm. Chicago ALS Rig 1. Chicago Heavy Rescue Vehicle 1. Chicago Engine 2 Speedy. Engine Company 1. You guys are responding. Amazon truck dropped packages all over the roadway. Engine 5 platform, engine 3 speedy, heavy rescue vehicle 2, PFD North. You guys are responding with Palatine PD Unit 3. Lucas Alvarado. They're going to need a fire truck over there. Ended to PFD South. You are responding. North Rand Road up by Autoland Group. There's a debris on the roadway. Grease fire in the Countryside Church Unitarian Universalist Kitchen. Engine 4 Speedy, Pumper Truck 1, Palatine PD Unit 4. You guys are responding. Palatine PD Unit 3, Palatine PD Unit 2 is on the way to assist you guys. Lots of Amazon packages on the roadway there. NYP 
LAPD Wall Street Cruiser 3. I know you've been waiting for a new assignment for a while. has gone very quiet. Too quiet. NYPD Cruisers, I unfortunately do not have any missions available for you guys. You guys are going to have to just uh, proceed back to the station and wait. Nothing I can do for you. Sorry. solid profit today. Tim Osmond is going to the hospital. Electric tremor arm to the injury. Oh my god, election. Oh my god, electric tremor injury to arm. I just had a strong. Mr. Osmond is going to Northwestern Memorial Hospital. Yeah, well, I won't be on for much longer. I slept like shit last night. Lucas Alvarado. Being transported to Northwest Community Hospital. Thank you. 
actually, he can go to Good Shepherd. He's going to Good Shepherd. Brand new hospital. And we are shutting down the phone lines for the day. Jardine Water Filtration Facility. Someone's motorbike is on fire in the parking garage. CFD Engine 2 Speedy. Engine 5 Speedy. Engine Company 1 and Engine Company 42. Engine 3, Engine Company 42. You guys are responding. expand our police station to get the sheriff's unit when our guys get back from sheriff's school. Yep, we are. So I will in preparation expand the station. We still have a profit of 10,000. $7,000 tax refund, and then we also got a $100,000 tax refund, so we basically got the sheriff's unit and uh, the uh, expansion for free. We also got a $20,000 tax refund. to where we were. $131,000 profit. Three Speedy, Palatine ALS Rig 8, Palatine PD Unit 2. You guys are going to a party on Lord North Lake Spur Lane. Over by Celtic Park Fields.
I'm gonna hop off for a while. Might be back on later. It's a very short shift today. I kind of wanted to just get the weekender missions completed. And I did. I'm also still dealing with a lot of problems with my throat from the strep. And now there's some sort of viral culture that I have to go have done on Monday. So yeah, things are pretty fucked up. I will catch you all soon. Thanks for watching.